the Ronald Reagan International Building for the Embassy Chef Challenge. And we're going around the culinary world in one night. It's the cheapest way for me to travel right now. <laughs> right down there on that floor, no jet lag. Well, this is where you can taste food from around the world without a passport. You know, these chefs kind of toil away in relative obscurity in these kitchens. They're superstars in their home countries, and bringing them out um, and letting us share in their talents, I think, is a really wonderful opportunity. I'm doing uh, a cod, a uh, slow poach, with the potato and the soup. What do you think is more nerve-wracking, cooking for ambassadors, diplomats, or cooking for the mass of people? There's over 500 people here tonight. Yeah, the biggest challenge is the number, is go for 500 because it's, uh, you need to promote everything perfect. This is a really nice piece of lamb. Yeah. Like, this yeah, is all about the quality of the lamb. Beautiful. It's just a little overwhelming. You have to, you know, do your tastes and make an assessment and decide really quickly what you think of the dish and they're all so worthy. How do you judge kimchi versus uh, Russian duck? 50% of it was at the uh, Hungry Challenge in February. The judges are still going to judge them on tonight's food as well. And then also people get a people's choice too. Most of all, it comes down to does it taste good? So that's the most important thing. And the winner of the Challenge Hungary is New Zealand. The winner of the People's Choice is Chef Nathan Bates. Thank God it's a trifecta. New Zealand Embassy. You knocked him out of the park. I tried to highlight New Zealand produce, so I did a New Zealand lamb cutlet with uh, kiwi fruit, manuka honey relish, and uh, olive oil citrus powder. Yeah, really stoked. Yeah, it's awesome.